Hola. Bienvenidos. Welcome to Beautiful Isla Mujeres, Mexico. We are so excited to be here on Isla Mujeres. It is such a beautiful island and located only 20 minutes by boat from Cancun. It is easily accessible. The past two days we have gone around the island and found some really cool spots. So today we are taking you with us on our perfect day in Isla Mujeres. But first you have to know how to get here. There are four different ferry ports, three in Cancun's hotel zone and one located closer to downtown. We hopped in a taxi downtown and drove five minutes to Puerto Juarez where we then purchased a one-way ticket for 190 pesos, which is approximately 10 US dollars. You can pay either by cash or card. There are 20 trips a day leaving Puerto Juarez starting at 6.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. and from Isla Mujeres back to Cancun starting at 7 a.m. until 11. You can sit inside in the air conditioning or upstairs on the open air deck just remember your sunscreen 18 short minutes later and we have arrived to paradise we just arrived on Isla Mujeres and I am so excited so now that you're here how do you get around the island is small but not that small so transportation is a must there are lots of options on Isla they have motorbikes to rent taxis there's even a new public bus that's only four dollars a day to go around the island as many times as you want what's the best way to get around if you have a few extra bucks to spare in a golf cart baby as you can see the ferry station is right behind me here right across the street you're gonna find a ton of rental agencies they do motorbikes bikes and golf carts let's check out what the prices look like now that we've showed you how to get here and how to get around it's time to have some fun. Our first stop today is going to be Punta Sur, which is the southernmost point of the island. It's going to take maybe 25 minutes to get there, five miles from the north part where we are right now. So come along with us and see these beautiful views along the way. If you only make one stop, make it here at the iconic Isla Mujeres sign. Watch out for those speed bumps. Yeah, you really got to make sure you're watching the signage on the side of the road. So the speed bumps are huge and seem like they come out of nowhere. I mean, seriously, I, I almost fell out of the golf cart a couple times. just arrived to Punta Sur. It took about 20 minutes from the north part of the island. This place is spectacular. It's where you can find Mayan ruins, a sculpture garden. There's so much to see and do here and a lot of history, so come with us. I'm sure you're all wondering what Isla Mujeres means. Well, in Spanish it means the island of women and there are many stories behind the name. The one we're gonna tell you today is the story behind this Mayan goddess, Ishel. She is the goddess of moon fertility medicine. The story goes that many women would come over here and bring offerings to each shell so they could be blessed with fertility. So here on the grounds we will also find the remains of a Mayan temple built for her. These views are incredible. If that was enough for you, that is great. We want to check out the Mayan temple. So we are going to pay a small admission fee right here. It's 30 pesos or $3. Para dos. And we recommend paying in pesos because it's half the price of paying in US dollars. I even get a little bracelet. Let's head down and see these ruins. 
Wow, look behind us. This is the Mayan temple of Ixchel. Man, it just, it's so incredible when you're experiencing history firsthand. There were actual Mayan people here a thousand years ago. The Spanish 2, came here. Two thousand years 2, ago. Two thousand years ago. There were pirates. There, there were Spaniards. People have been coming here for thousands of years. And this structure has been here for almost all of it. I can't stress enough how important it is to get even just a little bit of history about a place before you go there. It just, it hits home so much deeper when you know about it before you get here. And this is the spot where women have been bringing their offerings to Ishel so that they can have fertility. Wait a second, what are we doing here? Hey! <laughs> Not only is Punta Sur the southernmost point in Isla Mujeres, but it is home to the easternmost point in all of Mexico. Let's go check it out right now. I am standing on the Cliff of Dawn. You know what that means? It means that this is the first place in Mexico that the sun rays come to every morning. Think how incredible that is. This is this spot is where the sun touches Mexico. It kisses Mexico first time every morning. It's literally where Mexico awakens. This is such an incredible place. I can feel the goddess Ishel. Whoa, 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 <laughs> who's feeling my girlfriend? I don't know where this trail goes, but I'm excited to find out. Come along. Check this out, this is all coral rock. So a reef for thousands of years was building up and eventually came up out of the ocean. And we have Isla Mujeres. And check this out, people are still leaving offerings here. We recommend getting here early. We came here yesterday and it was completely packed and so much more hot. It's also so much more special when you can experience something without having to wait in line yes. to see it. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Have you ever seen water this blue? enjoyed that time with us down at Punta Sur. We are hot and that water looks so nice. So we're gonna head to Garrafan de Castillo and go snorkeling. You're not gonna wanna miss this. As you can see, the very quiet parking lot is already starting to fill up, but they are serving churros and marquisetas and you know I'm a sucker for a good marquiseta. So a little thing about safety, yesterday when we came here, I accidentally left our GoPro case with the accessories in the golf cart and it got stolen. We're not saying that this is a dangerous place by any means, but when there's opportunity, people will take it. So just be very careful not to leave any of your belongings out. And and that goes for everywhere, not just Mexico, not just Isla Mujeres. Mm -hmm. If you leave your stuff laying around, somebody might take it. It's yeah. just what happens. You gotta be careful, you gotta look out for yourself. Yeah. Uh, nothing like having a chauffeur for the day. <laughs> Where would you like to go, sir? Uh, take me to the snorkeling spot, ma'am. I said no bumps. <laughs> Too bad. Always want to make sure you lock up the golf cart when you leave it. In Isla Mujeres, there are a couple of parks, like adventure parks where you can go, like Garrafon Reef Park, where you pay a set price, I believe it's like $65, and it includes zip lining, snorkeling, kayaking, all that. Right down the street from it is Garrafon de Castilla. It's the same snorkeling, but for a fraction of the price. Yes. So if you're on a budget, this is definitely the way to go. Less amenities, but you get to snorkel on the same reef and enjoy the water. Sign me up. Here we go. This is what your admission includes. Beach chairs, bathroom, shower, dress rooms, umbrellas, and the rest area. And these are the prices for the optional amenities. All right, let's head down to the beach. It costs 100 pesos to come in here or 7 US dollars. 100 pesos is equivalent to 5 US dollars. So again, make sure you change your money into pesos when you get here. This looks incredible. And not only do they have a shaded area for seating over here, 
They also have their own beach down here. Man, this place has everything. I think my umbrella even came with an angel. Hey! <laughs> Just getting some sun. Yeah? <laughs> you having fun here too? I know. Pisa Mujeres is the best. We always travel with our own mask and snorkel. Not only are they more comfortable, it's gonna make your experience better because it's not gonna leak or anything like that. This is a great option for a snorkel. It's called a Nautilus and look at this. Instant snorkel, fits right in your bag, fits right in with the mask. It's gonna make your experience so much better and it's gonna save you money too. Let's go see some fishes. <laughs> much fun the water is so clear it's beautiful and, and there were so, so many, many fish. fish on the topic of sea life i say we go and see some turtles yeah let's head to the turtle sanctuary here on isla mujeres but before we head to the turtle sanctuary we have to take you to one of our favorite places here captain dolce's yeah four years ago when we came to the island for a couple days we spent the entirety of our a time couple there. days there yeah. <laughs> yeah it's so fantastic stay tuned to see why it is a beautiful beach club they are open every day the hill might look a little intimidating but you can do it don't worry we recommend going snorkeling at the garrafon de castilla but Captain Dolce's is where you want to come and spend your afternoon. Not only is the food great, but there is something for everyone. They have a sculpture park here. They have a giant pirate ship in the restaurant. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's beautiful. Yeah, they You'll have see. Pools, swim up bars, and the ocean is right here. It cabanas, is palapas. And there's no entrance fee. You can get a cabana, some lunch, and enjoy the day here. It is definitely a not miss if you're here on Isla. Come with us as we show you around. Look at this restaurant area. How cool is that? There's a boat in the center of it. This place is even better than I remember. They have adjustable umbrellas now. It's just gorgeous. They've increased the number of chairs and beds they have on the beach. But check out Cancun right now. We're in the summer season, so this is the rainy season. You can actually see the rain over there. Look at that storm. It's huge. <laughs> but right here at Captain Dolce's, it's paradise, baby. And if the pool isn't your thing, you can head down here on the dock and go swimming. They have ladders here for you and the water is nice and clear. Enough of these beautiful <laughs> beach clubs already. <laughs> it's turtle time. Isla Mujeres is home to a lot of marine animals, including sea turtles. One of our favorites. Here they have a turtle sanctuary called Porto Granja. From May until September every year, turtles come here and lay their eggs on the beautiful beaches. This sanctuary then comes, picks up the eggs, and brings them here to protect them so that they don't get eaten by animals or even people. We're really lucky here because Mexico has actually made it illegal to eat turtle meat or sell eggs which is very rare and very special because we're protecting this finite resource that is so important to our ocean. So well, let's go learn some more about these wonderful animals. Hola. Hola. Para dos. Okay. Comida para tortugas, 30 pesos. Yeah. Sí. Sí, uno. 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 
We just paid 30 pesos each to get in and then an additional 30 pesos for turtle food, which I'm very excited about. Don't feed them stuff that you do not purchase here. It's not safe for the turtles. And remember, our ocean is such a precious resource and plastics are just destroying it. Whenever you can avoid using bottles, bags, or straws, try to do that. One way to do it is to bring your own reusable bottle. We save at least 50 bottles a week using this just by refilling from a larger bottle at our place. So this is also a great travel tip. It'll keep your water cold and you'll be helping the environment. We appreciate you and so does the environment. Green turtles, hawksbill, and loggerheads, and they are so cute. Look at these! Por favor, no toque las tortugas. Do not touch the turtles. I know they're cute, but the oils on your skin will affect them. Do you know that sea turtles can live to be between 80 and 100 years old? Wow! That's crazy! Inside in the aquarium is where you're gonna find the juvenile turtles, and out here, we find the slightly larger turtles. They're not quite adults, but they're sub-adults. Conservationists at Tortugranja collect the eggs and bring them here and rebury them so that they can be protected. Once the turtles are hatched, they then release them into ponds until they're large enough to go back into the ocean. And it's such a great project because not only do tourists get to do this, but the local kids and families get to come and participate in the wonderful experience of helping to save our oceans. It's summertime in Isla Mujeres. Do you know what that means? It means that the largest migration of whale sharks is happening in the world right now. Sometimes 20 to 100 whale sharks get spotted at one time. These gentle giants, the largest fish in the sea, tomorrow we're going to be going snorkeling with them. The video is going to be dropping next week, so make sure you come back and tune in. It's going to be whaley exciting. Who's ready to continue this topic of conservation and rescue? Me, me, me! <laughs> now we're gonna head over to Isla Animals. And check out the one and only animal shelter on Isla Mujeres. Woof, woof! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put together a Google map for you and link it in the description so you can see all the stops from today. Who doesn't have time for some roadside mango? And it's not just mango, she carves it into a flower. Look at this! Fresh mango on a stick that this lady just cut into a flower. It's so beautiful. I just want to go ahead. We'll All right, let's check it, it out. Mmm. Oh, it's spicy. Mmm. Spicy and sweet at the same time. You have to try this. That's mango delicious. What a great way to eat a mango. If you've ever had fresh mango, it is so sticky, gets all over you. It's totally worth it, but mango on a stick with a napkin, genius. We are at Isla Animals on Isla Mujeres. This is the one animal rescue shelter on the island and it's where caring is global. I can hear some barking, so let's see what's woofing on inside. Dogs love Heidi. It's official. Hey, you too. Look at all this love. Hey. Oh, Skippy. Oh, let it be careful. You're bitey. How's it come here? You can get it here too. Oh my god. We got plenty of love. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So here at the Animal Rescue, you can come <laughs> and give these dogs some loving. You can also take them outside for a walk and you can rescue them. We got here, it was so loud and they were barking, but they were just excited. Look at them now, everybody's calmed down. They're all friends, they're just hanging out. Oh yes, guys. If you need a little pick me up, you wanna feel good, come down here. You can play with the animals or you can bring one home just such a great place and such a great program. And here is a QR code that you can scan on the screen if you wanna look into adopting any of these beautiful animals. No wonder the saying, a dog is a man's best friend. 
I mean, that was just, it made me feel so good. I'm not always a dog person, yeah. but when we went in there just now, my heart just opened up. Those yeah. puppies, the adults, all of them, they just, they wanted love and you felt it. Yeah, they just swarmed us like you saw and really all they wanted was just some attention and it just, it breaks your heart, but then it also makes you feel so good because these dogs are up for adoption. So if you are looking to adopt, please go on the website and look into it and help them out. Let's get these dogs to a good home. Are you ready for some more adventure? You know I am. Let's continue the fun. And if you're having as much fun as we are today, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a like. We appreciate you. shelter is a school on the island before we came last time we went on their website and we found out all the supplies that they needed and we filled a backpack up with them and took them here if you want to do that that would be so cool they would really appreciate it absolutely and when i brought the backpack in last time all the kids were like <laughs> muchas gracias yeah. it just it makes you feel good and it's also nice to know that you're giving back to a place that you take something from yeah. like we're here we're enjoying ourselves we appreciate that they're sharing their island with us so if you can why not give a little back now we're gonna head to the eastern side of the island and show you a couple funky houses Right now we are at Casa Caracol, the shell house. It is one of the most unique architectural designs I have ever seen, definitely here on Isla Mujeres and maybe even the world. So I believe these walls here are new. They probably didn't want people gawking over how cool this house was, but as you can see, it is in the shape of a conch shell. And now we're off to see what might be the most colorful house on the island. Sounds awesome. Enjoy the views along the way. Brewing Company to get a cold one that is handcrafted on the island. We know that you're here, you're gonna have fun, you're gonna wanna imbibe. We just ask you to be careful, please don't drive drunk. Out here, these golf carts, they seem like they're toys, but the truth is they're not. You can still really get hurt mm -hmm. or really hurt somebody else. Yes. And it doesn't mean that you have to be the drunk one. Mm -hmm. Even just having a little can mean you're not paying attention when somebody else crashes into you. You just need to be careful and respectful. People live here. This is, this is their life and their livelihood. And trust me, if you die, it's gonna ruin your vacation. Yeah. I know you're probably wondering. Why haven't they eaten yet? <laughs> Adam must be starving. Yes, he is, and he's getting a little cranky. So <laughs> we're gonna head to a must stop place when you're here on Isla. No trip here would be complete without going there at least once. Like a boss. Where we at, girl? So we are at the Soggy Peso. Grab some food and come with us to check it out. I love it already. This reminds me of my dad so much. Dad jokes. From the road, this place looks like a hole in the wall. I wouldn't have even pulled over if our good friends Adam and Lindsay hadn't told us how special it was. But, I mean, you walk in and what a hidden gem. Check it out.
We are huge Survivor fans, and this is hilarious. Instead of out play, out wit, out last, it's out eat, out drink, out party. Sounds like a pretty good deal. Not only is this place a, such a cool bar and restaurant, it's also a hotel that has its own private beach. Check it out. And this beautiful dock. The reason why it's called the Sagi Peso is because before there was a hotel here where people can stay, everyone just stayed on their boats. But the only way to come in was to swim into the bar. So your pesos were always soggy. Hence the Sagi Peso. I love that. Every day they have specials. Today is the burger special, so we got that along with some ceviche. So we got a little surf and turf. Stay tuned to see what that's like. Oh yeah. Holy moly, look at the ceviche and that burger. Looks fantastic. Muchos, muchos, gracias. There's even peas in my ceviche. I've never seen that. Somebody peed in your ceviche? <laughs> I'm about to jump into this burger. Mm. I love ceviche and burgers at the sake pe so uh, uh, oh After going to the Mayan temple and now eating, I think I might really have a baby. <laughs> Just kidding. Need yep. a ride home, Fry? Yes, I do. <laughs> Hop on in. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go. We've spent a majority of our day in the south and the middle of the island, so now we are going to head to Playa Norte, the most beautiful beach here on the island. You gotta come with us. Vamos a la playa. We are on Playa Norte, which is the most beautiful beach on Isla Mujeres. The water is the most crystal blue. You'll see people just relaxing, playing volleyball, walking their dogs. There's vendors selling fresh, cold fruit. It's wonderful. Did get here a little late. We came for the sunset, so you're not gonna get that beautiful blue. We're gonna include some of that footage so you can see what we're talking about. Norte at night turns into like this activity zone. Everyone's playing games, volleyball, frisbee. The sun's going down so it's not as hot because in the peak of the day there's no way you could be super active without sweating like hell. <laughs> so it's really cool to see everyone just out here having some fun. And the rain has come. Look at that. Everyone is scattering. Not me. I'm not scared. That was beautiful. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that sunset as much as we did. We are wet from the storm, so we are gonna head back to our place and change and then hit up the town with you. I hope you're ready for some snacks and fun. <laughs> I know you are. You know I am. <laughs> Wait, that's my line. Well, for the snack part at least. For the snack part. <laughs> Buenas noches, bienvenidos a Avenida Hidalgo. This is the main tourist spot in Isla Mujeres. This is where you can come. There's tons of restaurants, stores where you can get souvenirs. It's really fun. Don't forget bars. There are lots <laughs> yeah. of bars here too. Yeah, it's a great place to come when the sun goes down because it's nice and cool. So come along with us as we show you all Avenida Hidalgo has to offer. If you're looking for some live music and great food, El Patio is the way to go. Upstairs is a beautiful room.
rooftop that you can sit on, eat, and enjoy the music. Mama Rosa is really great as well if you want Italian food. Look no further. The Aroma Isla, some great vegetarian options here. Our friends highly recommend it. I love the name too, Jurassic Park. And One although, of my favorite movies. Yeah, and although we've been in Mexico for a while, we haven't had a churro yet, so. Churro looks so good. We went with the stuffed Nutella. Nutella. It's a I don't know. Wait, we have a question. Is, is it Nutella or Nutella? I say Nutella. He says Nutella. It's probably me. I'm probably right. <laughs> we'll try it out. Alright. You can really taste the Jurassic. You just spit all over me. <laughs> mm, it was probably a delicious spit too. It's so good. It's cinnamon and Nutella. It's hot and it's crunchy. I'm a huge fan. I highly recommend a Jurassic churro from Jurassic Park. I mean, Jurassic Park. I love these puns. Mm -hmm. Hey, save some for me. Go see it, though. <laughs> That's something on my face. Okay, chicos, we have reached the end of the street. As you can see, it is so much fun. You gotta hit this up at night. And unfortunately, we've also reached the end of the video. <laughs> yeah. We are so grateful that you came along with us today and it was so, so much, much fun sharing all of these wonderful experiences on Isla with you. We hope that you get some value out of this and planning your vacation here is a lot easier for you and maybe some inspiration. We hope you really enjoyed this and if you did make sure you hit that like, leave us a comment and subscribe. And don't forget Ling, 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 the bell. <laughs> Thanks again so much for all your support. We'll see you soon and make sure to tune in for our next video when we will be snorkeling with whale sharks. We'll see you next time. Adios. For the magic of the moment on the floor at night. Si, sí, mi ojos es muy grande. <laughs> Tu ojos. Está muy grande. Mi ojos está muy grande. Yeah, you're crazy. <laughs> sí, yo soy muy loco. Shut up. Sí, yo estúpido. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs>